Today is my birthday, and it also happens to be Sarper's birthday. And we're born at the same time, but two years apart. My birthday, girl, is a special day for us. I know. It's our yes. first birthday together. Same exact birthday. I know. We are <laughs> the chosen so one, babe. We I are know. the chosen one. Boy. Sarper, you were born on the 21st. Mm -hmm. And Shekinah, you were born on the 20th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have the same birthday. Mm -hmm. How? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a big, big, big point. Time difference. The time difference. It's not born in the same date. We just born in the same moment. Two years apart, though. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty amazing. Tonight we're meeting up with Sarper's family, and I'm really excited to see them. This is our first time getting together since I've been back in Turkey. <laughs> what is the Turkish? Cheers. 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 How many couples in the world have the same birthday, right? <laughs> She's the chosen one. <laughs> They're asking about our decision to stay in Turkey. Yeah, you won't live anymore. You're going to visit your daughter, obviously. Well, I have to, You'll yeah. go to visit for a short time, and you'll go, come back. Yeah, every five weeks for a week. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, she has summers off. Mm -hmm. So hopefully she'll want to come somewhere here. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see. Aslında şöyle bir şey var aslında. Hani doğru zamanı bekliyordum bunun için. Ee, biz Şikayna ile beraber Kabir vizesine başvurduk. O ne? Kabir ne ya? Amerika'ya başvuruyorsun. Hı. Eğer onaylanırsa gidiyorsun. 90 gün içinde evleniyorsun orada. A moment came, and I just felt that I have to say to my family. And it, it is kind of a betrayal to hide from them. Burada evlenemiyor musun? Yani burada kalamıyorsun. Yani istersen evlendikten sonra belli bir süre daha kalman lazım orada. I'm talking about K1. A lot of things are being said, and even though I can't understand the language, I can see by their reactions that it's not going over well. Bilmiyorum. Benim bir tek oğlum var. Yani o da giderse ne yapacağız? Zaten bir torunumuz yok. Bilmiyorum. Ben istemiyorum. Her anlar diyeceğim. Yani. This she says that is mother feeling something. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, it's not Europe. It's another, you know, continent. Continent, yeah. I'm not eager to go, but being with you is more important for me. The Kay gidip bizi bırakması, yani bana biraz üzücü gibi geliyor. No, ama yoksa oğlumun tabii bir Türk kızıyla evlenip burada yaşamasını daha çok tercih ederdim. Bir şey soracağım Serper. Şimdi oraya gittiğin zaman Şikayna'nın ailesi size destek olacak mı? If you went to US, will Şikayna's family be supporting you? <gülüyor> This Did you discuss it? This with your family? No. no? They, they don't ask anything to me and they don't care to know. They think that it was very... Um, Not logical? Yeah, like for me to move to Turkey so soon after meeting him. Mm -hmm. Peki kızı ne düşünüyor? Yani yeah, senin hakkındaki düşünceleri ne? What what your thoughts about Sophie about me? Well, Sophie is so influenced by them, you know, because they're my family and aileden etkileniyor diyor. She has five aunties. She hears them talk and 
It's really embarrassing. And so they were always like that, or they're just doing it because you're with Sarpa? I don't know. I honestly I don't know. I'm sorry. I didn't want to. Oh, my dear, come on. No tears. <laughs> I don't know why. No. But I feel bad. My relationship with my family is really different than Sarper's relationship with his. My family and I used to be a lot closer, but last year my sister Shariah came to Turkey to meet Sarper and it didn't go well. Sarper, it's very hard to take your word because I know of your past. You've been kind of like a boy. Oh my God. Her impression of him was not good, and I feel like it was partially the way that she approached him. You are speaking too much, Shreya. All right. You are so time. cute, but you are speaking too much. And ever since then, my mom and my sisters, they're not speaking to me, and that's been really difficult. You have a family right now, you see? I just feel bad because you don't deserve it because you're so wonderful. And no, you don't deserve it. You're so wonderful. Yeah. It's kind of hard to justify asking Sarper to leave his loving, supportive family in Turkey to come and be with me in the US where I don't have that type of support from family. Sarper says he's willing to do this for me, but now seeing his family's heartbreak right in front of my eyes, makes me afraid that he may back out and decide that he doesn't want to do it after all. And then what happens to us? Hey, Mom. Hi. How are you? That's very clean. I just offered her to buy the Benetti that she liked yesterday. It was expensive. I didn't like it and yesterday. He doesn't, doesn't want it. He doesn't want anything. That negativity. I did my best. He just wants what he wants, and he feels like he might not get it, and so he spirals. He ripped out my hair extensions. I didn't rip her hair. He my phone out of my hand. He wouldn't give yeah, it back I took to me. her phone from her, and yeah, one of their extensions from here came out. I never harm her. I never touch her. That's vanity. I mean, I mean, it's my birthday. Her birthday too. Look at what we get. Everything. Please move. Okay. Take care of your stuff, In your life, in your new life, in your new life, in your life, with your partners. Okay. Whatever makes you feel better. Here, you go out. You go. Out. Well, it started at the restaurant. He started in on me at the table saying, why don't you just let me buy this vanity? But I said, I don't want you to spend your money on a vanity I don't even like. And he was just insisting and insisting. It was the most stupid thing to get into a fight about. And he was yelling at me in the car and saying he's changed his whole life for me. What have I done? What have I done? I haven't done anything for him. He's he had a good life before. He had a peaceful life. He was perfectly happy. And now look at it his life and so we got back to the house and he just kept yelling and started yelling more and more 
and then he came over and grabbed my phone, ripped my hair extension out, and I said, give me my phone back, and he says, what? I don't know where your phone is. How would I know where your phone is? And I was like, you just took my phone. Am I like, he was trying to make me feel like I was going crazy. Finally, he gave it back to me. He was like, come here, baby, come here. It's our birthday. Let me hug you. I was like, don't touch me. And so I started packing. He came out and he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm packing because I'm leaving. And he goes, if you leave, you'll never see me again. And I was like, that's the point. <sighs> so stupid. Sucks. I'm okay, yeah. I feel like a little bit numbed at this point. Like, I just need to process what happened because it feels like surreal, like this isn't real. He kept saying, you've changed. You used to listen to me, now you don't listen to me. And he was saying, I want the old Shekinah back who used to listen to me in the beginning. I don't think I've changed. I think I just, I'm using my voice more because I'm realizing certain things are not okay. You know, he doesn't like to be confronted or questioned or challenged at all. I don't know what this means for me or Sarper at this point. I just need to process what happened and I'm, alone with my dog. <laughs> I just keep thinking about how it was earlier tonight. It was like such a good night. I'm just like, what's so wrong? 